All the signs say change, but the arrows are pointing to the same faces. Based on the people who have been appointed to the key far, foreign policy uh, positions, I foresee um, essentially no change at all. But the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mullen, and Secretary of Defense Robert Gates recently testified about just that, possible changes in foreign policy under the new administration. And the list of challenges is not short. Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, uh, as well as India. There is little doubt that our greatest military challenge right now is Afghanistan. The top priority for us right now is Afghanistan and Pakistan, and I think President Obama has made that clear. Senator John McCain has made things clear for the American people as well, but don't count on him to be overly optimistic. American people must understand that this is a long, hard slog we're in in Afghanistan. It is complex. It is difficult. It's challenging. Perhaps once there are more troops in the region, the U.S. can win in Afghanistan? Winning would mean achieving their objectives. They haven't been very uh, open about exactly what those are. Yes, how about those objectives? We set uh, objectives which are tied to a strategy which the president uh, has uh, is essentially we're working with him and his team to lay that out. Let's just hope those objectives don't lead to another full-scale war. The United States has a very poor record as far as fighting irregular wars are concerned. We haven't won one in almost 100 years. So our, our chances in, in Afghanistan don't seem too good. Perhaps the U.S.'s chances in restoring positive relations with Russia might fare better. I think there's some real opportunities here. Um, Russia is clearly not uh, the target of our missile defense endeavors. Iran is. I think there are opportunities for all of us to work with Russia on areas of mutual interest. Afghanistan is an area of mutual interest. Iran is an area of mutual interest. Stability in the Middle East. There is common ground, but it's gonna, it takes two to takes two to tango here. But the foreign policy advisors dancing around in the Obama administration look all too familiar. So as the U.S. moves forward in its dealings with other nations, the past is never too far behind. Donald Rumsfeld stood at this very podium about six years ago. He spoke of the old Europe and the new Europe when it came to the Iraq war, one of the main and some would argue most disastrous foreign policy decisions of the Bush administration. But this time around, the American people voted for new, change that they could really believe in. But with the same foreign policy commanders in power and the same methods at making decisions, that leaves many Americans wondering if all the talk about change is a bit too loose. Dina Gosofsky, RT, 